Hi, this is Mike from thesubstream.com. I'm off screen, about to join my good friend, okay, there I am, my good friend and very handsome model, Ryo the Ass Crackich Zakich. A couple of months ago, in the film lab here, we talked about how to create Rembrandt lighting, which is a really simple, really basic way to light for drama using three lights. It starts with a key light, which lights the subject, a fill light on the other side that fills in some shadows, and a backlight from behind that helps pick out our subject, Ryo here, from the background. But what if you don't have three lights? What if you're shooting outside, or you're shooting next to a sunny window, or you have one lamp only? Well, there's still things that you can do to help make your lighting look dramatic, but also natural. Once I get the house lights turned off, we're going to use our lamp here, a Lowell Omni, as a stand-in for any single strong light source. The sun, the sun shining through the window, a household lamp, and I'm going to cut to a close, there we go, a close-up so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, okay, not, uh, not so hot. It's a little severe. It's very dramatic, very contrasty, and it's the kind of thing that might work if Ryo was looking for the Maltese Falcon. But as far as general purpose, say, interview light goes, it's a little over the top and a little bit too harsh. What we need to do is get some light onto the fill side of his face, the side with the shadows. So what do you do if you don't have a second light or a third or a spare sun in your pocket? Well, you can use a reflector, like this one. They sell at any photo supply store for about 50 bucks. What you do is stand on the other side of your subject and bounce the excess key light back into your subject's face. As you can see, the reflector acts like a fill light, filling in some of the detail that was lost to shadow before. You can also use it to wave around in the air and shoot the reflection back into the camera lens for some reason I can't remember. On the obverse side of this reflector is a white surface. As you can see, it doesn't reflect as much light, but the light it does reflect is softer. Now, if you don't have access to a reflector, you don't want to incur the expense, you can use this stuff instead. It's called Foam Core, and it's available at all kinds of hobby shops and hardware stores, and it's just basically a light polystyrene board with a white paper surface. And you can use it just like a reflector. Stand opposite the key and angle it so that it bounces the key light back into your subject's face. And as you can see, it works about as well as a reflector, too. Now, it may seem like a jury rig, but this stuff gets used all the time on professional film sets because it's easy, cheap, light, and ultimately disposable. On behalf of Ryo and I and everyone here at thesubstream.com, thanks for watching this short film lab episode about how to use reflectors. I'm sorry there weren't more jokes or explosions or special effects in it, but we're saving those for more uh, later, funnier, and better videos. Remember, you can make a reflector out of almost anything. Put tin foil or a white sheet over top of cookie tin. Once you get the concept of using something reflective to bounce key light back into the unlit side of your subject's face, you're limited only by your own ingenuity. Bye.